I'm building my own forum engine. I don't really know why. In fact, it's been so long since I touched this project, I've forgotten what the database even looks like. I think the reason I've been putting off this project is because I know I need to build a backend interface to manage users, moderate content, and that kind of thing. But it's so generic and boring, and it's gonna take so much time. Wait a minute, instead of building a generic backend user interface, why don't I make an agent based on the master text to SQL templates? The template agent takes a connection string. And then to start, I can at least jog my memory about the database structure. Okay, this looks familiar. Now pretend I'm a forum admin and I have a question like, how many users do I have? I can just ask in natural language. I could ask a follow-up question like, what are the emails of those users? Anything the admin wants to learn, they can with natural language. And suppose this agent had an email tool, we could conceivably send these users an email blast or something. I'm sure you can also imagine how this agent could be adopted to perform administrative tasks like deleting posts or updating user information based on natural language. That would save me a ton of development time because now I don't have to build another dashboard. And arguably, maybe, most dashboards or admin interfaces would have a more flexible UX if they used the chat agent for their interface. Hmm, something to think about. Note that this agent template is read-only. If you choose to add tools and modify data, they should be thoroughly tested and ideally include a human in the loop for validation. Neither Alex Booker nor Master are responsible for data loss, corruption, destructive changes, or existential regret resulting from misuse or misconfiguration of this template. Other side effects may include broken dashboards, angry users, and a deep longing for simpler times. Let's take a look at how this works under the hood. The agent is equipped with a handful of tools and the agent system prompt helps O1 reason about which tool to use for the job at hand. For instance, when prompted with a connection string, the agent connects to the database and calls the DB introspection tool to learn the database schema and add it to the context window. When I query the database with natural language, the agent leans on another tool, the SQL generation tool. As you might have guessed from the name, this tool turns natural language into a valid SQL query. What isn't so obvious is how the tool does this. And to be honest, I don't really know how these models work under the hood, but I do know that the agent can't generate a good valid query on the first try unless we tell it the schema of our database, crucially like what tables are available, what columns they have and how everything relates to one another. Fortunately, that information is already in the context window thanks to that DB introspection call above. And when the agent sees that this SQL generation tool needs the database schema, it just puts a square peg in a square hole, right? To execute the query, the agent uses the SQL execution tool. And if you're wondering why the agent and execution tools are separate, that's a valid thought. Well, it's all about modularity and flexibility now and in the future. Because the execution tool is separate, I could execute a handwritten query, for example, and it'll call the execute tool directly. There's no need to generate SQL in this case. Why don't you download this template and give it a go? It's designed to be read-only, so it's pretty safe. Well, probably.